Welcome, everyone, to the second episode of the Super Track of Speed Championship. In today's races, we will see some epically awesome battles as we watch our racers skid and slide and smash and crash as they all race down the super ginormous racetrack of speed. Which one will be the fastest and win to move forward to qualify for the grand championship round? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike, I present to you to another very exciting set of races. Remember, those are past champions from past tournaments. Who will join them? In today's tournament, we will be reviewing the Dynaco 400 Racers set. And remember to stay tuned for future episodes that will feature the next-gen series of racers, some of whom are new models for 2021. Alright, racing fans, let's go ahead and review our track for today's set of races. Remember, our racers will start at the very top and then move down here to turn number one, and if they pass that, they'll receive a point. Then they'll head down this straightaway over here to our second roundabout. Well, if they pass that, they'll receive a second point. And then once they clear that, they'll move over here to this jump. And if they can clear it and land it, then they'll have a straight shot over to the finish line. Where if they cross that, they'll receive a third point. And whoever crosses it first will receive an additional point for four points. I wish you luck in today's tournament, racers. Now let's go ahead and start reviewing the Dynaco 400 racers. First up is a really awesome car with a really cool picture on the front. Here is what he looks like in the packaging for those of you that collect these cars. And then let's go ahead and flip him over where we'll see other cars and racers. Now let's go ahead and get him out of the box. I present to you Manny Flywheel. Racing with the number 68 and sponsored by N2O Cola, his main colors are purple with green accents. Here we can see him being compared to the old generation and next generation series of racers. Now let's go ahead and set Manny down so that way we can jump into reviewing our second diecast car. Here he is, a really awesome picture right there on front of the packaging. And here's what he looks like all boxed up safe and sound. Let's go ahead and flip him over while we'll see other cars of the same series. Now let's go ahead and get him out so that way we can review him further. I present to you, Slider Petrolski. Racing with the number 74 and sponsored by Sidewall Shine, his main colors are yellow with black stripes. Kind of like a bumblebee. Here we can see him being compared to the NASCAR series of racers with the same sponsor, but a different number. Up next is our third Dynaco 400 racer, who's a very special scavenger hunt series. Here's a really cool picture of him, and here's what he looks like all boxed up. Here on the back we see others of the same series of a very special metallic edition. Have you happened to find any of these cars? Let me know! I now present to you, Paul Ingus! Racing with the number 79 and sponsored by Retread, his main colors are purple and silver with some red and white accents. I really love the look of the shiny metallic paint. Would you happen to know which movie Hall was featured in? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below! And now let's move on to our fourth and final diecast of this set. Here he is with a really awesome picture on the front there, and there's what he looks like in the packaging for those of you that like to collect these cars. Now let's go ahead and flip him over, and we see others of the same series. Now let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you, Dirksten D'Agostino! Racing with the number 34 and sponsored by Trunk Fresh, his main colors are black and green. Here we see the Trunk Fresh logo on the back of him. Here we have Dirksten D'Agostino being compared to another version of him from Cars 3 and the Next Gen series of racers. Here we have our racers lined up and ready to race. Now let's get them out on the track. Our racers will change positions at the beginning of each race to keep things fair. Dirksten D'Agostino and Holland Gase are in the front. <laughs> And our racers are off at full speed ahead, with Dirksen, Degosin, and Hauling Gase battling it out for first position. Whoa! The big one happening behind the number 34. He turns around to watch the action, but he's not paying attention. He starts skidding out. Oh my goodness, will he ever regain control? Uh, and he looks like he pumps on the brakes at turn number two. Let's watch the next replay to figure out what just happened. Manny Flywheel falling behind in fourth position up in the front. Hauling Gase makes contact with the interior wall. And whoa! He just 360s into the air spinning into Slider Petrolski who knocks into Manny Flywheel and looks like both of those racers are off of the track. Up in the front it seems that we have Dirks and D'Agostino completely turned around confused of what just happened where all the other racers are. He stops dead in his tracks at turn number two and just throws the race. Back over here at turn number one we have Manny Flywheel and Hauling Gase completely flipped over off of the track. I hope they're okay along with Slider Petrolski still on the track, and then over here at turn number two, we have Dirksen D'Agostino for being our winner for getting the farthest. Here are our 
standings after that first race. In the back we have Hauling Gase and Manny Flywheel. And our racers take off straight out of the gate. It looks like Hauling Gase is trying to get around Dirks and Degosito and whoa! Someone just fell off the track and a huge crash happened back at turn number one. We need to watch the final replay to check out the action again. Manny Flywheel still falling behind in fourth position. Whoa! Some big airtime with our racers and what? No! It looks like Slider Petrolski falls off the track from a height and Dirks and Degosito hits a wall stopping dead in his tracks. Where is Slider Petrolski? Here he is. He's flipped over. I hope he's okay from that height that he fell from. And then we have Manny Flywheel hauling Gase off of the track over here at turn number one. And then over here shortly on the straightaway, we have Dirks and D'Agostino who has the lead and is the winner of this round. Here are our standings after that second race. It's still anyone's game. In the front, we have Slater Petrolski and Manny Flywheel. And there go our racers taking off down the track. We have Manny Flywheel taking first position very seriously and hauling Gase in second position. Whoa, some contact between the racers back there. Here, will someone actually finish this race this time? It looks like, yes! Oh my goodness, very exciting. And here comes hauling Gase in second position and Slider Petrolski in the third. Let's check out the next replay to watch the action one more time. Dirks and D'Agostino's trying to get around Slider Petrolski, but he just can't seem to be able to. Whoa, and then in second position, Position, we have Hauling Gase going sideways and then flipping around in 360 after making contact with the exterior wall. There goes Manny Flywheel taking that second turn very smoothly. He lines up for the jump and he lands it beautifully and crosses the finish line. Here comes Hauling Gase right after him and then Slider Petrolski pulling up the rear. Where did Dirksen D'Agostino go? Let's go ahead and go find him. And oh no, it looks like he's flipped over here at turn number two. And then way over here across the finish line we have Slider Petrolski who barely just made it and then we have hauling gas who came in second position and then we have the number 68 manny flywheel who is our winner of this round manny flywheel leads by one in the back we have slider petrolski and dirksen d'agostino and our racers are off at full speed ahead with Hauling Gase pulling into first position and Dirks and D'Agostino really trying to get around him. Whoa, Hauling Gase almost falls off the track there, but he catches himself as he rounds the second turn. Here comes Dirks and D'Agostino lining up for the jump. He pulls forward. Oh no, he wasn't able to get around him. Let's check out the next replay to watch that action one more time. Slider Petrolski really falling behind in fourth position. He really needs to catch up if he wants to win. Dirks and D'Agostino taking his chance to get around Hauling Gase, but no, Hauling Gase blocks him and almost slides off the track for doing so. Here comes Dirks and D'Agostino's other chance to get around him, but he doesn't take it. He just falls right in line behind Hauling Gase as they round that second turn. Here they come lining up for the jump, and then what happens? The number 34 punches the accelerator to try and get around Retread, but instead just knocks straight into him. Where are all our racers? Here we have Manny Flywell barely across the finish line in last position, and then we have Slider Petrolski, and then we have Dirks and D'Agostino, and then up in the front who crossed the finish line first, we have Paul Gase, and whoa with our final standings it looks like we have a tie we're gonna need a tiebreaker to break this we have a tie between hauling gase and manny flywheel and there go our racers taking off down the track with hauling gase pulling into first position and while some contact and wow no it's all over we need to watch the second replay to find out what just happened hauling gase goes ahead and makes contact with the interior wall pushing into manny flywheel which when he then hits a wall and falls from a great height off of the track and whoa no hauling gase flips over off of turn number one both of our racers gain one point for reaching turn number one so they're still tied we need to have a second tiebreaker And both of our racers are off with a start with Manny Flywheel. Oh no, it looks like it's Holland Gase going into first position. He takes off with a burst of speed as they round the first turn. Now he's flipping around backwards, looking like he's taunting Manny Flywheel as he tries to get around them. Both of them take that second turn very smoothly. They land it for the jump, and here he comes. Oh no, it was so close, I didn't even see who won. We need to watch the second replay again to find out what just happened. Manny Flywheel way back there in last position. He really needs to put pedals to the metal in order to catch up and gain on Holland Gase. Here he comes for his chance around that first turn. 
turn, but no, he gets blocked by the number 79 as they go across the first turn into the straightaway. It looks like Holland Gates is losing control going from side to side, but no, he's just blocking Manny Flywheel. Here they line up for the jump, and the number 68 almost lands on top of him, and here they go for the photo finish, and wow, no, it's still so close. We need to watch a third replay to see who won, and no, it looks like it's Hall and Gates crossing that finish line first, and Manny Flywheel in second position. What a spectacular show of speed on Holland Gates' part, and here are our final standings, and with 14 points, it's Hall and Gates as our winner, who will be moving forward to the final championship round. Here are all of the racers that we reviewed in today's video. Firstly, we have Manny Flywheel. Secondly, we have Slider Patrolski. And then thirdly, we have Hall and Gas. And then lastly, we have Dirksen D'Agostino. Which racer was your favorite out of all of them? Let me know in the comments below. You can either leave their name or number. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and remember to share with your friends. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our other videos on this channel. And remember to stay tuned for the next exciting video of this championship. And in the meantime, keep racing!